Happy Sunday everyone. Back from holiday, it was absolutely wonderful. And I cut off from social media for six whole days. I decided for the first time I was gonna go away, completely cut off my social media. I listened to Jamie Alderton who said he went, when he went on holiday last year, he did it. And when he came back, he only, he caught up in 15 minutes on his emails, on his social media. And I thought, well, actually, you know, I didn't want to cut off originally because I thought there'd be so much to catch up on, blah, blah, blah. But you actually never really switch off when social media is always in the background. So I was like, no, this time I'm gonna give it a go. So I deleted the apps off my phone. Um, obviously not the accounts, just the apps. So I couldn't access them. And I was thinking after the first day, uh, on last Sunday, I was thinking, okay, you know, today was fine, but I was thinking, it's going to be weird, you know, am I going to be really itching to go on my social media? And for the whole six days, not once did I think, oh God, I want to go on my Instagram, I want to check my Facebook, or Twitter, not once. And I'm really pleased with that because it actually shows that no matter how much you put into it for your business or just for leisure, if you can come away from your social media, you're showing some signs of control um, and that social media is not controlling you, that you have more of control of your social media. And for me, that was really important because there were, were points with social media for business being kind of very new to me, feeling like, you know, it was being in control of me. But actually, being able to cut away from it, I feel more in control of it now. And it's made me realise that spending still too much time aimlessly on take, spending time on social media and when I don't actually need to. A lot of the time I do uh, for my social media in terms of being active and giving content for everyone and that's what I love doing but I still need to cut down but, and that coming back from holiday, coming away from France made me really realise that, that actually disconnecting from everything is so important in a time where we are so connected all the time to people, which is obviously amazing in so many ways, but I think we need to make more of a proactive effort actually disconnecting. I think they go two and two together. So if the society is going in a way of us always connecting so much with our social media, we need to spend even more effort than before than taking time out and actually putting time aside to not go on social media. Got the cat here. Um, Tinky Winky, to come away from social media and actually just realise I don't always need it. Because I was thinking I was never going to fully, fully switch off if there was social media in the background. Always knowing in the back of your mind, if I was on the beach, I didn't want to check my phone to see what comments or what likes or who's DM me or who I've got to DM. It, you never fully switch off. So in a time where everything's so fast-paced technology, go, 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 we need to make more conscious effort of actually cutting away from that. And now I've disconnected from everyone for six days, which was lovely, having real time to focus on myself. Now I've come back and I feel ready to reconnect with more purpose, with more efficiency, and not feeling so mentally and emotionally drenched. That's really important. So I challenge you as well, if you do go away and you really want to cut off, schedule out time to not go on your social media. And if you think, oh, I can't come off social media for one day, then that is that is a problem in itself. If you can't come off social media for one day, then social media has a huge control over you. And if you, know, you are struggling in a mental health space with anxiety, or you're just kind of not feeling super confident in yourself, social media will contribute to that. And if you can't switch off your social media, that's, not, that's only gonna make the situation worse. So I really challenge you next time you go away to really come off your social media, delete the apps, and just focus on you, focus on reading, focus on just being in the moment, being with your loved ones, just enjoying each and every moment for what it is and not worrying about anyone else because you're gonna check your timeline, you're gonna see things that it's not gonna make you feel better and it's not gonna to contribute to your life and you didn't really need to see that when on holiday you should be really focusing on yourself because nothing ever happens anyway. When you really cut off, nothing ever happens. You're not missing out on anything. And when I've come back, I've noticed actually it took me about 10 minutes to catch up as well, which shows, you know, 
social media, it's not always, you know, what it's crapped up to be all go, go, go in terms of there's always stuff going on because most of the time actually there's not as much as we think there is and we're just so obsessed with it. So I challenge you next time to do the same. I hope that really helps uh, because it's really helped me mentally and emotionally recharge and it's really important and going in the future I'm definitely going to be taking more time to schedule in time when I'm completely cutting off my social media for long weekends and stuff. Being able to rejuvenate, recharge and then hit the ground running when going back and I challenge you to do the same. Hope that helps and it was a lot more enjoyable than I thought it was. It's always a good challenge as well if you like a bit of a challenge give yourself that challenge and see how it goes.